Hey y'all! <laughs> Welcome to our 3 p.m. Um, what are we doing? Smoky eyes! Okay, I'm hiding. I have one eye smoked out and I have one eye not. Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh, is that so scary? It's not scary. Okay, so I've got my BFF here, April. You guys got to see her this morning. She shared the conceal and correct um, tutorial, and so she's going to do a little commercial for our 6 p.m. tutorial. So Yeah, so I'm so excited. Make sure to tune in at 6 o'clock tonight because our national sales director, Jeannie Tamborello, is going to be popping on, and she's going to be doing a live demo tutorial on how to use one of the most amazing products on the market right now. It is our clean clear proof charcoal mask. She's actually going to have it on her face when she comes on. And then she's also going to be talking about the moisture renewing gel mask and how to multi mask. And so make sure to tune back in at, at six o'clock. And for every single comment that you have that you put down in the comments, same with this video, you're going to get an entry per comment for a free full size product giveaway. Awesome. Thank Yay. you, April. Bye-bye. Have fun. Okay, so y'all ready? We got to turn this eye smoky. Check that out. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the video. Hey, Sherry. I'm so excited you're here. Okay, so seriously, can you believe the difference in my eyes right now? Like, it's so crazy, right? Okay, so I'm going to, uh, we're going to start our smoky eye tutorial with the most important product and that is this eye primer okay so this is the product that you put on first now I do have all my foundation on my highlighting and contouring from earlier cheek color little lip gloss on but and I have my brows on <laughs> that is definitely um, important but we're gonna put a little bit of this product on I mean seriously just a tiny little bit see that right there I got probably more than I need so I'm gonna put that on first the, it goes, it's white, but it does dry clear, so it's not actually white. It is a clear product. Okay, so now that we have that on, this is going to make, um, it's going to make more of like a tacky um, surface, so that way your eye color can actually hold onto your eye lid and stay on throughout the day. We do have oil glands in our eyelids, and so sometimes that can affect the color of our um of our eye color, you know, or sorry, the length of wear and the stay and sometimes it can crease and things like that. So the eye primer prevents that from happening and intensifies the color and it also helps to hold it on throughout the day. So that's the eye primer, product number one. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into the smoky eyes. So we have, this is my um, eye palette, okay? So these are the six colors. I have them listed in the description of the video. We're gonna start with rose gold. This color is absolutely stunning. I actually wore all of my rose gold jewelry today. My new watch I got for our anniversary yesterday. Um, my embrace lit for all you beauty consultants because I'm so inspired by this rose gold color. This is not a color that I have worn very often and I just recently started wearing it and it is stunning. So you just wanna take your eye color brush. Now I will say, I want to just pause real quick and tell you about our brush collection. So our brush collection comes in this precious bag that allows you to not only store all of your brushes, but also it has a spot for your, um, like your makeup. And I always put my beauty tools like my tweezers and eyelash curler and things like that over here. So you can keep all of your uh, makeup right here in this cosmetic bag with your brushes. And so we're going to be using the eye color brush first, and we're going to take the rose gold and we're gonna take it from the crease down. Now I'm gonna see if, because I don't want this lighting, I want y'all to be able to see me. I'm gonna scoot this a little bit closer to make sure. Okay, so, whoa, see how it gets real bright? I guess I'll stay back here. Okay, so we're gonna just kind of press this in. I'm gonna tap it in so that the eye primer can really grab hold of it from the crease down, okay? So just in this, area right here okay it's a really pretty golden brown so it's called rose gold okay all right so that's the first color the second color is um, we're gonna be doing the coal okay so that's the black now we're gonna use a special brush this is the only brush that is not in your brush set that we're gonna be using today it's called the smudger brush and it's a smudger brush because it has very short dense um, bristles and it allows you to get the color like right where you want it to go so we can smudge it in so I'm gonna put I put a little bit of this on this product I mean on the product on here so I'm, what I'm gonna do is just come in right here on the edge along my lash line up to the crease 
just kind of tapping it in. And the beautiful thing about a smoky eye is that it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just gonna blend. It's all about the blending, okay? <laughs> I am quite the perfectionist, so the good thing about the smoky eye is that you can just kind of put the product on there and you, then you can come back and blend. Okay, so this is the coal. Now, obviously that's kind of intense, so what we're gonna do is come in, back in with my crease brush, which has, what did I do in the crease brush? Let's see, I have one right here. We'll just grab this one. Okay, so you come back in with your crease brush and blend it out to kind of soften that line right there. Okay, now, because you don't want it to be so harsh coming from here up to, you know, under your brow bone, we're gonna come back with this brown right here. This is called um, driftwood, okay? So this driftwood is a really pretty brown. You can also use um, hazelnut, but driftwood is my favorite for this. And so we're gonna just kind of put that in the crease as like a transition color. Just blend back and forth like windshield wipers. Blending is the key, okay? And honestly, you guys, we can actually, we can pretty much smoke out any colors we want if you use, if you pair the coal. So like I a lot of times like to do a purple smoky eye. And so I'll use our sweet plum um, and I'll use this, this coal and smoke that color out, which is pretty fun. And also some blues are pretty fun to smoke out too. So that right there gives me a nice little smoky eye. And this is more of like a, a, coppery smoky eye, a, a brown smoky eye. You can, like I said, you can do all different kinds. Now what we're gonna do to bring the smoke down to the bottom is we are going to get my eyeliner. Oh my goodness, I know I have it here. Here we go. Okay, so we are gonna use the um, eyeliner in MK Black. Now with the smoky eye, for you to make it look super smoky, the best thing to do is to actually apply it to your waterline. And so we're gonna start there. And then we're gonna come back and smoke it out with a beautiful copper glow. So, so we have, I'm gonna come right in here. This is a little bit harder doing this in the um, video. So you're just gonna put, put it on your waterline. Now, because it is a waterline, it is going to get, um, you may have to reapply it. You know, it's not gonna stay on there as well. This eyeliner is amazing though, because it is smudge proof. It's water resistant. It will stay on all day. It does not spear, smear. Um, I always like to say it goes on like butter, smooths on like butter and it sticks like a Sharpie. It's amazing. We love our Mary Kay eyeliner. But one of the other great things is to put um, to put it up under the waterline on the, um, like up under here. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but it's actually gonna make your eyelashes look thicker. Now this is not something I do every day, only when you do a smoky eye, really. Okay, so you can do your waterline on the bottom and on the top. Okay, so we've kind of, I'm just adding a little bit more. Okay, so then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this brush, this is our eye definer brush that comes in our brush collection. It has this angled end right here. And I'm gonna put it in this beautiful copper glow. And so we're gonna take this on the eye definer brush and just press it into that, um, that line. We're gonna line our eyes right here. Just kind of press it in, a little smoke a little copper smoke. Okay, so that right there creates a nice little um, smoke on the bottom. We've got smoke on the top, smoke on the bottom. And so what we're gonna do um, to finish off the look on top is I'm going to apply the um, this color right here. This is called Honey Spice. And it's a really gorgeous color to kind of clean up the top right on your brow bone right here. I'm using a little applicator brush that you can um, get with your compact just because I didn't want to clean my brushes off in between and I wanted to have something nice and clean. Um, but this is just a really pretty little color to put under your brow bone, okay? So this right here is your smoky eye color. So now we have to finish off with a little black eyeliner. I love black eyeliner, it's my favorite. And we're gonna be using this MK liquid eyeliner pen in black. It has the most incredible point, look at that. 
it's like a little artist pin. So it's super easy to apply. Um, now, today I did do a little wing, a little cat eye wing on it. You don't have to do that, but I like to do it because I feel like it makes my eyes look bigger you know when you have the lighter color here some people you do smoky eye and they'll do the dark color all the way across the lid but when you have small eyes it makes your eyes look even smaller and so I like to do the light color like a still do a light nice rose that rose gold smoky um, right in here to to keep my eyes open and keep them looking bigger so you know looking this eye already looks bigger than this eye just because of the way that I apply the eyeliner right it's pretty crazy Okay, now I don't know how many, I'm going to look in a mirror for this because I don't think I can do this in the, um, let me see if I can get this up. Um, here, I should have thought through this, but I'm going to try to do this here so you guys can see it. Okay, now with the liquid eyeliner, I don't ever start on one side or the other. I kind of just start in the middle to start making my line. Get in there. I love this. I'm going to have to look down here. Can y'all still see? Let me scoot it over this way. Just pencil it on, paint it on. Now, my trick for making the cat eye, so this is pretty cool. So I just take it, I'm going to try to do this here. My, my camera's right there, but I can see myself over here, so it's like a little awkward. Okay, so I just take it, and I just draw a line out like that. Double check here. Oh, it's a little bit higher than I normally would have gone. Ooh. Okay, so then what I do is then I come back and I fill it in. I touch the line. I'm gonna see if I can do this. If this will, there we go, perfect. Okay, so, You bring this line out here, and then you just connect it to the line on your lid. So it's kind of like an extension of your eyelids. It makes them look a lot bigger. Okay. I think I got it. Okay, so now that we've lined the lid, then... We're going to apply the mascara. So this is super important. Now I do use eyelash an eyelash curler. Um, I think that it makes all the difference in the world. My lashes naturally go out and down. Like it's really crazy. And so when you're looking at them from the side, they kind of go out and down. Um, whereas April, her lashes are like amazing. And so I always use a lash curler and I start at the tips of my lashes and I do three sections just for a few seconds each, come down to the middle, and then I come down to the base of my lashes. That way it's not just like a kink, but you kind of work it out, okay? Now we normally, I normally would recommend to apply a little bit of uh, lash primer because that definitely helps as well, but for time's sake and because our focus is smoky eyes, I'm just gonna actually apply the product. Today we're using the um, Lash Intensity Mascara. It's my absolute favorite. It provides up to 200% more volume, length, and it's just all around an amazing mascara. And so I need, I need all the help I can get when it comes to this. So give you guys some better lighting. Is it better if I get closer? I can't tell. Okay, so what you do is you start at the base of your lashes and just kind of wiggle your way up so that they get covered on all sides. And I like to layer it, so I'll apply it. Look at that, it's already amazing. Okay, I probably need to redo this other side. Okay, so um, I did that like super early this morning. Okay, so this is the top. Now, I will tell you, our Lash Intensity Mascara is the only mascara that is not waterproof and so, or water resistant, excuse me. So what I like to do is take one coat of our waterproof mascara and just put it on top of it so that it does not, if I shed a tear or get caught in the rain or something like that, it won't flake off or, you know, smear. And then you always want to do your bottom lashes as well. So that right there, my friends, is your smoky eye look with Lash Intensity Mascara. What do you think? What do you think?
Pretty awesome, right? Man, look at that mascara. That's looking pretty good. I didn't spend as much time on this side as I did with this one because you guys are watching me. But um, so, so, so excited. I hope that you like the smoky eye look. You can build your very own smoky eye palette. Um, it's these six eye colors. I didn't do the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast is a great option if you prefer um, to do that instead of the Honey Spice. If you want a little bit more shimmer along your brow bone, you can do the Gold Coast, or you can even do a Gold Coast smoky eye by applying Gold Coast where I did the rose gold. So, you know, it's your preference. Um, but one of the other great tips I have is um, to maximize your compact. Instead of putting like the little applicators down in there, because you're obviously going to have full size brush sets because it's way better. Um, you just put a, like a magnetic adhesive magnetic strip down here in the bottom of your compact, and then you can pop your bronzer in there. So that is how I have mine on my other compact. I just put a magnetic strip down there and then I pop my bronzer in so then I can have my eye colors and my bronzer in one compact. So it's a great way to maximize um, the product. So we covered our smoky eyes with mascara and it makes all the difference in the world, right? I hope I gave you a little bit of confidence and um, you may just be excited about trying something new. So let your beauty consultant know if there's anything that you loved, um, you wanna add to your wish list, or maybe you just can't live without, you know you wanna get it, okay? So thank you for tuning in and we'll see you at six o'clock with National Sales Director Jeannie Tamborello. I have fun, I had so much fun today.